I później konferencja prasowa. Wypowiadał już o cztery osoby. Ambasador Polski, Brzuszko i dowódca MNC, generał Sandra. Ambasador Stanu. Ja dostałam e, tak. tak, polski powiedziałam. Bo on w Polsce jest. Tak, tak, tak. Wiem o co chodzi. Dobra. Wiecie o co chodzi. Pytanie na stopniu. Okej, okay, tutaj będziemy, a briefing będzie tutaj, tak? Tak, na, na, tle, na tle pokazu. My przejdziemy za ten wał i tam na tle sprzętu Dobrze. ustanowionego Aha, będzie Będziemy briefing. potrzebowali trochę czasu, żeby dociągnąć przemieścić kable, się. przemieścić się. Do, na briefing. E, tak. Bo to jednak, bo to jednak my będziemy z wozami po yy, tutaj. Trochę, trochę Myślę, że chwilkę będziecie mieli. Nie, nie wiem, nie 10 minut może. Tak się szybko przemieszczajcie. Najpierw to family foto zrobimy, więc tak. myślę, że to będzie ta luka, w której szybciutko się do fotografów, tak? Natomiast nikt nie wychodzi już tutaj, tak? Wzdłuż tutaj się przemieszczamy, yy, ale już nie wychodzimy nie, tutaj, na tak? Linii. Tutaj na tej linii, ale też nie wychodzić mi gdzieś tam daleko, tak? W granicach rozsądku te parę metrów daje Wam swobodę, że możecie tutaj się delikatnie przemieszczać, ale nie uciekajcie mi, żebym nie musiała za Wami biegać. Nie do drogi tutaj, tak? Do drogi nie. Już tutaj jakby w przód nie wychodzicie. Na boki, dobrze? Wzdłuż drogi. O 13. Tu jest też narracja, nie wiem czy chcecie nagrywać, będzie narracja, dowódca brygady będzie prowadził jakby opis cały całego tak. I co jest ważne? Nie czekaj. Ja co jest ważne? Pododdział przyjechał tutaj do nas z Leoparda. I'm a little bit closer that I do not have to shop that much. Can you? Przepraszam. Przepraszam bardzo, pan z aparatem. Jest pan Sorry for this. Um, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Habermann, the Chief Public Affairs Officer of the Multinational Cornwall East in Chechi. I'm here, and uh, I'm here to introduce to the general plan what we will do today. Darek Kuzenma, my fellow, already explained you everything. Uh, but I want to give you some uh, detailed information about what we want to do with the, uh, the media statement of our generals and the ambassadors. Um, after the, after the uh, shooting is done here, um, we will take the generals and the three-star, the German general, uh, uh, Lieutenant General von Sandwart and the two-star general from Poland, uh, General Druszko and the U.S. ambassador and the German ambassador to a spot over there where you see the Polish flag, something like this. And there will be, then they will give an initial statement to all of you. The first, I hope this plan will happen, so we have to expect the unexpected, always. The first, uh, the host. But the uh, divisional commander, General Grosko, and the US ambassador, but the German ambassador, and at least three star from Czechia, the German one, my boss. And, and afterwards, you will have the chance to raise some questions. Please do me a favor, we do not have unlimited time. And the, I know that there are German media also here, the RD and the ZDF. No, yes. no. Yeah, okay. What about you? Yeah. I'm with the yeah. Okay. I think we should do this 
because of limited time, you should do this a little bit together. Sure. Yeah? Please understand this. I cannot extend the, 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 the schedule of the general. He will, he will bump me afterwards. Yeah? So if he is not in time back home, and I'm the guilty one, you know? So, right, we have to publish the revision and we would like to talk with uh, General Trushko. Fine, all right. This My colleague will do it. Your, your contact is Tarek Ruzenda. Right. Yes. Everything is fine. Okay. So, at first, I repeat, just because I also forget everything. At first, initial statements of four, of four, four people, four VIPs. Afterwards, short question answer. And then we pull out. If we are not too late, yeah, I do not I promise anything. Yeah, then we pull out the Germans. You, you have a look at me. Then we go beside with the with the with the with the three star. If anyone wants to join us, we are fine. But this interview will be held in German, German language. Yeah. Yeah. That you understand. We do not want to exclude something. Mm -hmm. all the, all, you all have to say. Uh, the, you all have to say. Uh, have the, the same results. But. If they are German media, so he will explain it in German language. Yeah, so are you fine with this? Are there any questions? So, unfortunately, it's that old. Mm -hmm. I did the mistake yesterday. There was terrible soup. I did not eat up, so that's why the weather. Is. You have to say in Germany. You know this. If you do not eat up, the weather will be shitty. So, it's my Thank fault. You. Yeah, blame me. Yeah. Blame me. So, okay. Everything's fine? Yeah, fine. Yeah, yes. Okay, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you all to the observation point and in a few minutes we'll start the presentation. Raz, dwa, trzy, raz. Raz, dwa, trzy, raz. Raz, jeden, dwa. Raz, jeden, dwa. We are only one toy was in defense, only one toy. Although during the live firing exercise we can employ with the home battery. So this is the change of the between the tactic regulation and live firing regulation that we are limited with the safety precautions. On your left hand side during the road you see in the red vehicles. During the tactical part they were five kilometers from here in the screening area. Because we are limited in the time during the presentation, they are a little bit closer and they will play just the final 
stage of the operation. The task during the battle is to recognize the enemy formation and report to commander to confirm if the plan, our plan of defense meets with the plan of the enemy we suspected he will play during the operation. And when they will recognize the enemy, During all the operation, the plan is very complicated. It means that all five of the aircraft to be very precise and very And the of the is the German one, one hundred and
Company and they will go closer and closer until finally they will be stopped in front of the trigger line. You see, the, you can see the effects of the artillery fire from the first battery. Now the fire is conducted by the battery of the mechanized the self propelled on the first one. So each battery during this exercise will conduct three fire tasks. And by observing by four support fire support officers, we can make the note about the effect of the fire, which is also the part of the exercise, to know if they are able to fulfill their task effectively.
doesn't matter for us. Now we are
What we've seen in the last year is that collective defense works. All for one and one for all. My first visit to Poland was 30 years ago when I was here on a Fulbright scholarship and you could still hear the Soviet troops in Krakow on their morning jogs singing their songs. And to come to very close to the Sulbalki Gap to see six countries from NATO collaborating here in this exercise is a absolute example of progress, of progress in Central Europe, and now with the Ukraine crisis in terms of progress in collective defense. I particularly want to flag today the central importance of U.S., German, Polish collaboration to make this exercise come together. Security is the holy grail in Central Europe today, and together we are working together. The awesomeness of the tanks firing together, Leopards, Polish tanks, Abrams tanks, all in one line, speaks volumes to the defense of Poland, and to the defense of all of Europe and the transatlantic community. So thank you, General, for the opportunity to bear witness today. All the soldiers served so amazingly today, so proud to bear witness. But I will simply quote the American colonel in charge of EFP Poland, Colonel Ray. In Lithuania, where Germany leads NATO's enhanced forward presence, but also here in Poland. And I think that is the message of today's exercise. Poland's security is also our security. And it is the unity of our alliance that is our strength. So my thanks go to all the soldiers, all the nations of the alliance that have shown and demonstrated this resolve and this readiness uh, here today that will make us strong also in the future. Thank you very much. I am really proud of the soldiers that have shown you their dedication, their professionalism to work together, to be able to fight together. They will ensure that our integrity, our security is protected. Whoever tries to impose an aggression on and check on us. That is a long way we have gone. Today you have seen that we are ready, we will, we want, we can. And I assure you that those forces that you have seen here, you will see all the way from between Nava, Estonia and Poland, they are all the same way prepared. They are the same way dedicated and uh, they will ensure that our security, our freedom is protected, protected against anyone who wants to impose uh, his attack or his aggression on us. It's great to be the commander of those troops and as NATO we are stronger together. We are NATO and NATO is ready to protect our territory. Thank you, Thank you sirs. Thank you, sirs. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for this moment there is a time for Q&A session, so if somebody would like to ask a question, please uh, show their hand. I will come to him with the microphone and he will ask. Uh, firstly, he will uh, connect her or his name, just after that the name of the agency, and then to whom in advance this uh, question will be sent. Please. If anybody would like to ask our guest. Okay, so there is no question for everybody. 
and we were talking uh, in the military club there is uh, just 10 minutes for media who are interested in to interview the commander of the corps and the commander of the division please come on thank you very much to say thank you to the Polish people. We, the Americans, as special friends of the Poles, also say to Poland, as President Biden did, thank you, thank you, thank you. And today we're here close to the Sylwaki Gap, seeing this exercise showing German, Polish, US collaboration in the ground, in the air, to defend the transatlantic community. It is, these are important messages to share the world. And uh, I'm so happy to bear witness to yesterday the Zelensky visit and today as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ja, also wir können Ihnen zwei Stunden dazu erzählen, aber die Zeit haben Sie für mich nicht. Das lief alles glatt ähm, und ist auch nach according to plan gelaufen, würde ich sagen. Natürlich kann man immer noch besser werden, ähm, aber das ist schon sehr gut, äh, sehr gut gewesen. Diese Übungen haben immer Künstlichkeit. Also die werden zum Beispiel auf dem Gefechtsfeld nur auf einer Breite von 400 Metern zwölf Panzer sein, weil sie einfach nur ein großes Ziel abliefern. Aber das ist eben der Tatsache geschuldet, dass wir hier auf einem Übungsraum sind, einer Schießmann sind, die einfach nur die ganze Welt hier kam es jetzt eher darauf an, das Zusammenarbeiten zwischen sechs Nationen zu zeigen, als ein taktisch sinnvolles äh, Gefecht. Dann hätten sie hier zwei Panzer gesehen und das wäre weniger aufregend gewesen. Aber das wäre dann taktisch. Das hat hervorragend geklappt. Das ist immer gut, das hat geklappt. Ja, vielen Dank. Sie gucken alle so ein bisschen von vor. Das ist so ein bisschen... Äh, noch zwei Stunden. Sie sind alle, kommen alle aus, Sie kommen aus Berlin? Ja. Sie kommen aus Warschau, aus dem Hauptschutzschiff? Aus dem Hauptschutzschiff, wie Warschau. Na ja, aus dem Hauptschutzschiff. Danke, Forward defense is, is our uh, our tactics. So we will defend each each long term of our territory. No doubt. No doubt. That's why that's why over here is is uh, NATO is battlefield moment in Lithuania. We we have as well battlefield Lithuania uh, with with allied uh, forces. So you are right. So this means basically.